Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! I have another house for you guys today. It's huge, so much potential. Before I take you guys on a tour of the amazing house that I have for sale, I just want to show you guys what it looks like when you actually do start remodeling. So this house right next door is getting remodeled and look, it's not finished yet, but it kind of gives you an idea of what it could potentially be. Like these places are getting bought up and remodeled left and right and they're so freaking cute. So I want you guys to think about this as we walk through this other house that I have for sale today. All right guys, let's go into the house. Come with me. You go down these little steps. So you're off the main road that comes into Montepona. You go down these steps. I want to show you guys the cantina. It's just down here. Come with me. It's so nice and cool. You can already feel the difference in temperature. So look at this huge space, you guys. This could totally be an ensuite if you just change out some of the paint, put some new walls in. Look at how much space you have down here. Right now they're using it for wine and oil storage, which is what these cantinas are usually used for. But imagine this, like a huge kitchen, and then the living room or bedroom right down here. And again, I mean, the, the view you can't see, but you get the wind coming in from the sea. And it change out this window, you can hear the cicadas. This place has so much potential, you guys. And then you go up the steps. Okay. And here we go. So the house itself is on three levels. Each one of them is 25 meters squared. Uh, so when you include the cantina downstairs, it's 100 square meters. Come on in. So as you come in, you have this beautiful foyer. Obviously, we're thinking remodel here, right? So open everything up. The woman who lived here recently, um, she died at 100 years old. She put a kitchen down here, but the kitchen is actually located upstairs. So this is like a small temporary apartment that she had while she was living here. All the furniture is included, but I would uh, opt to have it all taken out if possible. And so this was her living quarters that she stayed in. And look at the view, you guys. The view gets better as you go up, but this is what you would wake up to in the morning. Fabulous view of the Ionian Sea. All right, guys, so this is uh, room number one. So maybe make this into a kitchen, living room, and here off to the right is the bathroom. Obviously, we need to gut it completely. I would reposition a lot of the rooms in here if it was up to me. But like I said, so many options. It depends on what you want to do with the space. Um, so this is bathroom, the only bathroom so far. Under here is a little closet, so don't need to open that. And then let's go upstairs and take a look at the second level. So as we come up to the second level, you have a little balcony out here overlooking the beautiful Montepaone. So right in here is the historical part of Montepaone. Super cute. I've done videos of it before. And right over here is the Bar Roma, right down there. So that's where you have your coffee in the morning and it has a stunning view. And then to get down to the beach, you just take this road and it takes you down the road, down to the beach. Watch your head. I have a cameraman today, so exciting. <laughs> and uh, Morris, my dear friend. And then uh, off to the left, you have a small little bedroom. Could be another bathroom if you wanted it to be. So again, overlooking that view. Um, the, the house has great bones. It already has heaters installed. They're gas heaters. No air conditioning because you don't need it because it's so windy up here in the summer. And then here is the, ba the bedroom of the mother, but you can make this into a living room or however you see fit, but it's pretty big, high ceilings. And then look over here again, just like the best view of your life. So gorgeous. On a clear day, you can see all the way to Crotona. And what's great about the location of this house is it's close to Soverato. You're 10 minutes away from Soverato. Five minutes to Montebone, five minutes to grocery shopping, more closet space underneath the stairwell. And now let's go up. And here we are at the third level, which is where they put the kitchen. And what's the best part about this level is it has a fireplace. So my idea would be to put this as a master bedroom and have a fireplace and a master bathroom and the balcony overlooking. So take this kitchen out, so cute, make this a master suite. 
And then the balcony, again, with this cute view of Monte Carlo Like, it's just such a fun, walkable city. And you get to have sea views, sea breeze coming in. It's absolutely stunning up here. So as we walk in through here, there's another room, which was a dining room, so random. But then the best part about this house is the terrace. Now, ta-da! A little terrace with this, you guys. So if you want more information, about this house, please email me at collabiadreaming at gmail.com. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram for our fun updates about what's going on here in Calabria. The price for this is 78,000 euros. I would probably predict maybe investing like 20,000. You don't need a lot, you just need a little cosmetic work. And this house could be an absolute dream. With the cantina downstairs, you could turn that into a little business for yourself and have a little Airbnb and then live here comfortably uh, on three different levels and then have this view and wake up to this every single morning, you guys. So thank you so much for coming with me. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Ciao!